Dear ladies and gentlemen, hello to everyone. I'm Jožic Svilbar. I come from Slovenia and I will present our example of preparing the AKI strategic plan and choosing of the interventions. In the analysis of the Slovenian AKIs, we proceeded from the fact that the structure of the institutions that form AKIs in Slovenia is quite diverse and fragmented. Although AKI structure is set up, it needs to be further improved and strengthened. We talk about three pillars, knowledge exchange, research and innovation, and digitalization. The Slovenian AKI scheme covers all stakeholders and defines the processes of their cooperation and knowledge exchange. We use the circles and arrows to define cooperation and knowledge exchange and the dashed lines mean that we need to strengthen either cooperation or knowledge exchange. So cooperation green and knowledge exchange red. The central stakeholder in the AKIS system are the farmers and their professional and other organizations. The upper part of the scheme defines the public sector, which is the holder of research in agriculture, formal education and public services, including the public farm advisory service. We put down here our strengths and weakness, uh, strengths and weakness of our AQ system. Uh, among strengths, we put down education and advising and public services are free of charge, good regional cover of farm advisory service, strong tradition of farm advisory service, targeted research programs in the field of agriculture, and active involvement of researchers in the international cooperation. Among weakness, we put down lack of coordination action among the ministries, insufficient financing for the research projects, weak identification of farmers' needs, inefficient communication between the institutions, weak transfer of knowledge and innovation into practice, lack of highly specialized farm advisory service in specific areas, lack of mentorship and obsolete infrastructure and equipment for research and development. Based on the key findings of the analysis of the Slovenian AQ system, we defined the basic needs for all three pillars. We also link the needs to possible interventions, either within the framework of national funds, possible intervention in the articles of the draft regulation for the CAP strategic plan after 2020, as well as in connection with the funds for recovery or so-called next generation. So for the first pillar knowledge of exchange, we identified set up of AKIS platform. Our plan uh, is in the framework of CAP, uh, CAP network, then increasing the attractiveness of agriculture educational programs, strengthening cooperation among AKIS stakeholders, for instance, with uh, operational groups, leader, enhancing and use of AKIS platform and uh, AKIS coordination body, then improving farmers' knowledge and knowledge flow among them, for instance, with operational groups again, strengthening farm advisory service and other public services, and also investments in farm advisory service and other public services and educational institutions. For the second pillar, innovation, we identified again set up of AKIS platform, then strengthening applied research in agriculture and innovation, strengthening innovation solutions, innovation brokering and financing of innovation in agriculture. For instance, set up of innovation broker function within CAP network or coordination body, then strengthening cooperation between research institutions and agricultural practice, improve the transfer knowledge, and then development of the centers of excellence of science. The third pillar, digitalization, we identified setup of AQI, support digitalization of processes, interlink all public data, and also strengthening use of digital technologies in agriculture production. That's all from our side. Thank you for your attention and all the best with creating good AQ strategic plans in your countries. Bye-bye.